What's up everyone? I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. The Silent Approach tree steps have been on the market for nearly two years now and I'm getting some really great feedback from guys that are using three basic principles and I want to share those principles with you today. Okay, the first key is going to be to keep the steps in front of you. And if I'm climbing a fairly straight tree, for me it's going to look something like this. The distance between these two steps this way is only going to be a few inches only a few inches that way that allows you to climb straight up and straight down and that leads us into the second rule and that step straight down on the steps and that's much easier to accomplish if you're following the first rule of keeping the steps in front of you and we're keeping the steps straight in front of you and stepping straight down your foot's going to be sideways on the step straight in front of your body and your next foot is going to be just a few inches away and it's just a very small movement shifting weight and getting back to the same position for the next step. What tends to happen when guys are first starting out is they'll put their steps too wide on the sides of the trees like a traditional tree step as opposed to having them just a few inches together and keeping the steps in front of them. And what happens is this allows more of an opportunity for the steps to roll somewhat from side pressure and keeps you from being able to step straight down and it's this stepping straight down that allows you to have a good solid leverage point. The third rule, you must use the force. But the good news is you don't have to become a Jedi. But you do need to become aware of the way trees lean and grow. It's oftentimes difficult to tell which way trees are leaning, but they will almost always have some sort of lean and it will often change. You will need to be able to read the tree and follow the force. Being just a little bit into the gravity side makes things much more uncomfortable, and this goes for any sort of climbing method. And this tree, the beginning of this tree is pretty straightforward with the force going in one direction. And you can see as we get to this area right here, the force starts to change. And at that point, we have to make almost a 45 around the tree to pick up this next step and continue on up. Say you do need to place your step a little further around the tree. Say there's a knot or a twist and your gravity's changing. You can set the step where you need it and you step around. You just have to make sure that you shift all of your weight and step straight up and then it's still not a problem. Once you understand these techniques that I've described in this video, I honestly believe that there's no easier way to climb a tree. It requires the least amount of effort and the least amount of movement that you're going to find out there on the market. I'm getting some great feedback from guys using these things, and I think if you give them a shot, use these principles, take the time to learn how to use them, you're going to love them too. So if you liked our video, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, we're going to have more videos like this, more videos about the four sides of trees and climbing trees, more videos on saddle hunting and mobile hunting. Appreciate you, and good luck.